Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really beautiful, rustic headboard. It was very easy to make and it really doesn't cost a whole lot. For this project, you will need 13 one by four pieces of wood that are six feet long, 12 two inch wood screws, 120 one and a quarter finishing nails, a quarter stain, a color of your choice, two clean rags, and then a hammer or a nail gun. To start this project, cut 10 pieces of the 1x4 to your desired width. As I mentioned, ours is a queen size bed, so I will be cutting these at 64 inches. Once you have all of your pieces cut, begin staining all 13 1x4s with your desired color of stain. We have chosen to use classic gray. You will most likely need to apply two to three coats of stain before you're able to assemble it. Lie the three longer 1x4s flat on the ground. Now take one of the shorter 1x4s and place it horizontally across the three pieces that you laid on the ground. The ends should line up flush, like you can see here. Matt is using a nail gun, but obviously if you don't have that, you can just use a normal hammer and some finishing nails. You will want to secure this with two to four nails. Before securing the second piece, use something as a spacer, so either wood or some newspaper, but you wanna have a little tiny space in between the pieces. Make sure not to press the second piece of wood too tightly up against your spacer, or else you will not be able to get it out. You will need to use two to four finishing nails per one by four, so you have a total of three one by fours that need to be attached to your headboard pieces. This will ensure that it is attached securely. Once you have all 10 headboard pieces attached to your 1x4s, you can then bring it into your house so that you can secure it to your bed frame. You will want to use 12 wood screws, and this will be four screws per piece. So we have three 1x4s that need to be attached to the headboard. You will place two of the wood screws at the top and two wood screws at the bottom of each of the 1x4s. Once you have everything screwed down and attached to your bed frame, you are done. This can really add a lot of character and beauty to a normal bed frame. You can also customize this. So if you don't like having the little gaps, then you would just not use spacers. You can also make this headboard a little shorter or even taller, possibly going right up to the ceiling. So the options are really endless. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you decide to make this yourself, I would love for you to send that to me. You can find me anywhere on social media under XX, I am Kristen XX. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. And if you wanna see more videos, then don't forget to subscribe.